in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how you can fix shopify visual stability now this is a very common problem a lot of like uh new shopify users or a lot of like shopify users struggle with this problem now first thing you need to do guys to fix the problem by the way this is going to be caused by multiple reasons so i'm going to be showing you guys all the solutions that you can try to fix this problem okay so first thing i'm going to show you guys how you can fix this and how i fixed mine as you can see visual stability here it says here good i'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do the exact same thing now okay so first thing you need to know guys is if you like for example if you have like recently installed any third party apps try temporarily disabling them and to, like to see if the visual stability improves like some apps may inject uh, scripts or modify the layout in a ways that cause instability so if you have like recent if you have recently downloaded any app you want to click on settings at the very bottom left and you want to click on apps and sales channels okay so if you have downloaded an app that caused this problem you can just see it here and you want to just remove it and see if the like visual uh, stability is improved or not okay so what you guys need to do is to try to find any app that you have downloaded recently that may cause this problem okay and you want to remove it and just uh, for example you could for example this app i'm going to uninstall this app and see if the visual stability is improved or not because that may cause the problem this app may cause the this problem guys on my shopify store okay so the second like the second solution here is to check theme codes like if you have if you are comfortable with the code review your theme code especially the theme that liquid file for any scripts or function uh, like functionalities i hope i pronounced this correctly that may be causing the layout shift so if you have like uh, added uh, like any code to your theme that may cause the problem so you want to go to your online store and you want to click on here on it says three little dots next to customize and you want to click on edit code and here you want to check this file you want to just search for it if you cannot see here it's called theme uh theme uh, okay theme that liquid okay you want to search here for theme okay i'm going to search here for theme that liquid okay so this is the file it's called theme that liquid so as you can see if you have like any if you have added any code here you just need to remove it okay if you are not good with code then it would i would re recommend you guys leaving this alone because it will it will just cause many other problems so if you have like sure that you have added a code here you want to watch the video that you watched li like when you added that code and try to remove it and then make sure to save okay so if you like if you have done that because that may cause the problem that may cause this problem also the third solution here is to minimize the use of flashing content like avoid using elements that blink or change size rapidly as this can be visual distracting and contribute to instability so if you have like if you have downloaded any app or any any code that helps you like that helps make uh like some blanking things on your pro shopify product page or home page make sure you, uh, you remove that because that may cause this problem so if there is any app that makes like blanking it's like moving itself automatically that can like cause this problem that's all very obvious okay so you want to try to like to remove any app that helps you do that okay also like make sure like ensure all the images used in your website are recommended by recommended size by shopify so the recommended size as everyone now is here you just need to search here for on google for uh like uh, best size for shopify product images and this is the size that you want to go with okay uh this is the recommended size by shopify itself as you can see here you can resize your images using multiple websites for example you can ser search here for let's say for example uh image resize okay just search here for image resize and you can find this website it's called image resizer you want to click on it and you can resize your shopify images click on select image and you can add the image here and you can change this size as you can make sure you click on pixel and you want to change the, the to the recommended size here okay so that's exactly all you need to do guys you just need to uh like resize your images so that you will have 
so that you can fix this problem okay so like i said this is the recommended size by shopify okay so after you add here the recommended size you want to click on resize and that's exactly guys and then download these images and add them to the product page of your shopify by the way um you, like you can try like you can also use tools like google page uh, like the google page speed insights okay it's called like page uh page speed insights to monitor your visual stability score okay so here you want to open a new tab okay and search for this for example image uh you want to search here for page uh speed insights okay this website is very popular it helps you like fix your problems like visual like for especially visual instability uh it will show you like the causes of it and stuff like that so i'm going to go to my shopify store i'm going to click here on online store i'm going to copy my online store so that it will connect to it so that and, and uh, it will show me exactly what is wrong with my shopify make sure you select here desktop and give it a few seconds it's going to, to to take a few seconds it will also give you guys the score of like the the performance of your shopify store as you can see i'm going to wait a few seconds as you can diagnose performance issues as you can see okay so just give it a few seconds okay so as you can see here guys uh this is the performances uh, the perform <laughs> performance uh performance of my shopify store as you can see it's 100 like the performance uh, the accessibility here is 97 the best practices uh, is uh 96 and seo is 92 so as you can see you can also see the speed index as you can see you can scroll down and see any problem you have on your shopify store it will show it to you here for example i have for me i have to reduce the unused javascript script and here i also have to enable text compression as you can see it will have a potential savings of two as you can see gigabyte and here also the properly sized images i also have problem with my shopify products like Im images on my shopify products i have like the put i can save like uh, 56 giga gigabytes as you can see so okay so that's exactly guys how you can fix this problem like if you have any questions go to the comments below and tell me what is your like first you will have like before you go you want to go to your own shopify store and click on online store and show me exactly this number on your visual stability in the comments and i may come up with a, a new solution i would reply to you guys with a sol with other solutions okay so yeah just go to the comments and tell me exactly okay and see you guys next video please drop a like and see you guys in the next video